hi what's up guys you all welcome back to the channel and in this video i want to show you the step-by-step -step process that you can use to get rid of icloud locked on any iphone 6s up to iphone x and in this video I'm, I'm using an iphone 7 plus for this tutorial and this method also supports all the iphone which is running on ios 16.7.10 as well as 15.8.3 the software that we are going to use for this tutorial is called HFZ iHello and this software supports the Windows and MacBook. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can follow that link and download the software in my Telegram channel. Yes, so once you launch the software then you connect your device to the software and make sure that your device is on Hello screen. And once you've connected your device to the software, the software will automatically detect your device. And then you click Start iHello. Once you click on Start iHello, the device is, I mean, the software is going to check your device to see if your device is supported. And then it's going to give you a pop up to register your device. Now, after registering the serial number, the next thing I did is to connect the device to the software again. And then when I reconnected the device to the software, now the next step is to jailbreak the device. So make sure you follow the step-by-step -step procedures on the screen so that you can jailbreak your device successfully. The jailbreak process is done, you need to allow the device to boot back to the main menu before we proceed to the next step. On the next step, we are going to reconnect the device back to the software. And then when you reconnect the device to the software, you allow the software to run a check on your device to make sure that the device has been successfully jailbroken. So go ahead and click activate. This process that I'm sharing with you is 100% legit. And all you have to do is trust the process and watch the video from the beginning to the end. So when the software runs a check on your device, it is going to give you another pop-up message telling you that your device has been added to the server queue so please run the tool again after 30 minutes to complete the process normally it doesn't take up to 30 minutes in my own process it took me like 10 to 15 minutes so you don't have to wait up to 30 minutes before you reconnect your device you have to keep checking After 10 to 15 minutes, then you reconnect your device to the software. And when you reconnect your device to the software, then you click Start. The device will run a quick check on your device 
and after running the check it is going to generate a default SN for your device. As you can see, bypass ready for this device. Please change your device SN number to the number on the screen and run the tool again. Now I'm going to show you how you can change your SN using the HFset Activator SN Writer version 1.0. Now to change the SN, all you have to do is to boot your device into DFU mode. Once your device is in DFU mode, then the next thing that you have to do is to go straight to the HF set activator and then you are going to boot Bopo for your device. Now the process will begin and then the software will help you to boot your iPhone 7, 7 Plus into the, into the Bopo mode. Now the purple mode boot is successfully done and then you click on SN edit and you are going to select USB modem and then you click connect. Now you can see the original SN. All you have to do is to cancel it then copy the SN which the software has generated for you. Once you copy the SN, then you paste it right inside the software and then you click write. Some of the iPhone device after changing the SN, the device will be stuck on the purple mode. So you just have to force and boot the device into the main menu or you can flash the device with three U tools, but make sure you retain user don't just flash it completely maintain the user data so now we just go ahead and cancel the hfz activator then we force and boot the iphone 7 plus back to the main menu so that we can complete this process As you can see, my device SN has been completely changed. And then we are moving on to the final process. The next thing to do is just connect your device to the software again. And then we can go ahead and activate the iPhone device.
Alright guys, now the iCloud bypass is done and this is the step-by-step -step process that I used to bypass iCloud on my iPhone 7 Plus which is running on iOS 15.8.3 and this method also works for all iPhone devices from iPhone 6s to iPhone X and now I'm going to insert a SIM card to test this device and make sure that the core and other features are working perfectly. Guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment, and I'll keep dropping you more videos like this one. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay blessed, and see you on the next one.